Mr. Miyagi is a Nigerian dwarf, full bred, um, and he is a buck, which means that he is intact. To keep it family friendly, I'm not going to really go into what intact means, but it means that uh, he is able to breed with our girls. So uh, don't be confused by uses of Billy and Nanny. He's actually called a buck, and isn't he a beautiful boy? And there are certain things about a buck that you may not want to have on your farm. Mr. Miyagi is actually pretty friendly, and that's not the reason, that's not the reason you may not want to have a buck on your farm. Um, bucks, uh, in order to attract the females, they like to pee on themselves, and um, so that's why his beard sort of got that yellow tinge, and in the go world, that's really cool, and they also have some scent glands up top that um, sort of cause them to smell pretty bad, so. If you're beginning with goats, I would stay away from the buck and stick with either Weathers or a doe. Like this Margie here is my first doe I ever got. She is a full Nigerian dwarf. And uh, this is one of our baby goats. Uh, this one is Eleanor. And I got Phyllis down here. You probably can't see Phyllis, but you can see how sweet these little girls are. Um, they're about, she's about six, seven months old. They are twins. Um, and it is pretty common. It's pretty common for Nigerian dwarf goats to have twins or more when they give birth. It's very it's actually uncommon for them to have a, um, a single birth when they give birth. And we try to breed them every once a year. I'll tell you in a second why we like to breed them and what the whole point of breeding them is. Because as cute as this little girl may be, um, just the cuteness factor is not the reason we raise goats. The Shrine Dwarf breed is a miniature breed of uh, fairy goat, and they are typically only about two feet at the withers, which this is the withers right here, and they like to be rubbed and they like to be petted. The Nigerian Dwarfs produce a really good amount of milk, but um, it's they don't require as much to feed. They don't require as much hay and barely any grain, and so in the cost effectiveness in the big scheme of things, it's actually... Um, pretty cost effective to raise Nigerian dwarfs. There is even goat yoga. Goat yoga is certainly is totally new, thing. and I think it's so amazing because the therapy you get here is priceless. They climb on you. And then they, they try and eat your hair ties and um, your yoga mat <laughs> during class. So, yeah, that does have some challenges that you wouldn't normally have during yoga, but it adds, it adds character. We raise Nigerian dwarf goats um, is, for our purposes, is for dairy. Um, and they produce a very high butterfat content um, milk, and we use that for our soaps. And um, we have made lotion before. It's pretty nice lotion. It's um, the soaps and lotions are very good people with people with skin conditions like eczema and things like that. Um, and we we're able to sell that stuff online and to friends and family. Goat's milk is awesome uh, on the skin if it's put in like a skin supplement. But it's also um, it's very tasty. It's almost like a sweeter tasting milk. And don't be confused by the 
what you may have had from a store before because that's going to be like a commercially available and pasteurized and stuff. Goat's milk is naturally homogenized, and so even after a couple days, you maybe just have like a little tiny bit of cream on top, but it's great milk. We use it for many things, ice cream, lots of good things to eat, and the goat cheese is amazing. We make a lot of chev here, which is a French, uh, fresh, <laughs> it's a fresh goat cheese, and it's a soft, like crumbly cheese that we like to make here, and it's delicious on uh, eggs or anything like that, and so... The main reason for us having these creatures here is for the purposes of their goat's milk. I always liked tiny goats. I find them extremely cute. And there is a very sweet memory when I was a kid about five years old. We went for winter holidays and we stayed at a farmer's house and of course they had many animals and also those mountain goats and I really love to pet them and they just had young ones as you see on this picture. This is me, age 5, 1979. And my mother and a baby goat. I just really wanted to take one home. <laughs> and this is what makes them so cute. They are playful, gentle and up to mischief.